Hey guys, uh, welcome to the first uh, tutorial series of how to edit black shell and then, nah, just don't bother about this, but um, yeah, so how did I come about? So basically one day John, aka Evalonix, uh, the one who made the paradox video, yeah that's him, that faggot, uh, he, he asked me to make a tutorial video on how to edit black shell and personally for me I've never played Blackshot before, I've never edited Blackshot before, I'm a COD player, uh, if you don't know what COD means, it means uh, Call of Duty. And yeah, I'm basically a Call of Duty player and editor itself. And John asked me one day if I would do tutorials and I said, hey, why not give it a shot? So basically this tutorial series would come along with uh, many different basic styles of editing. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you the basic simple steps to edit, such as keyframing. And as we progress along uh, further on, I guess we move on to the more advanced stuff like uh, uh, After Effects. But for now, we're just going to use the effects in uh, Sony Vegas, basically, because that's like the standard staple editing tool of. Um, Every editor, I guess. Um, what? Uh, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Colin. Did I do that before? Not, never mind. Um, all right, let's just get jump started into it. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to do uh, screen flashes. Yes, I'm a Singaporean. If you guys are wondering, if you guys are actually just wondering, um, yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to be uh, basically just teaching you how to do screen flashes, which will kind of look something like this. Now, um, as I said, this is really, really basic keyframing for people who have used Sony Vegas before, and I'm sorry if you know you have learned this before or something. Like that. For those people who don't, this would be something new for you guys to learn, and this will be one of your first key steps to actually sync to the song. Because I've seen so many montages without sync, and I just want to basically just bang my head till I die. And yeah, so let's get right down to it. Uh, oh yeah, uh, all right. So basically, we, we wanna just delete my clip over here and um, delete my markers. All right, let's drag the clean black shot clip over here. All right, now what you wanna do is um, go here. Always remember basically to uh, disable your aspect ratio. Otherwise, your YouTube video will have this like you have black sides on the video itself it should look ugly so what you want to do is just right click it you go to video event pen and crop and you see this under source you have maintain expect ratio you, you take no basically what you have now is a full screen video yay and yeah so I just want to sing to this part of the song here right as you see my audio layer is already set up um, it's all done here basically. So where are the beats? How do I sync to the beats? So basically what you want to do now is um, your M key on your keyboard basically creates markers in Sony Vegas. So as the video is playing you can play the video as well and as the beats go along just press M according to the beats that you want to sync to and it will create a marker for you. What, what do actually markers do is it actually helps you to keep track of the positions where you want something to happen actually. And um, yeah. So let's get started to it. Uh, I'm gonna sing to the beat right now. Yeah, so that's basically much it. I have marked every single beat of the song into the video layer here. And now to create the flashes. Uh, this is something that you guys have to listen up on. What I do is I go to my event, FX, it's if, in case you guys haven't seen it yet, it's this thing over here, it says event FX. And you open it up and what you want to do now is you want to just find Sony brightness and contrast. 
Uh, usually I use glow, but uh, in this case I'm just gonna make it really simple for you guys and use brightness and contrast. Um, all right. All right. Now, as you can see, there are three bars over here. One for the brightness, one for the contrast, and contrast center. Don't worry about the contrast center. We're only gonna be. Uh, I mean, like, sorry for the starter right there. Uh, we we're only gonna be touching on the uh, brightness and stuff. So, as you can see, if I if I um increase the bar here, uh, you get a higher brightness and if I lower it down on the way you get a darker picture. So how do we actually keyframe this? Now it's kind of simple actually. You see this bar called anim animate here? Um, you basically just want to click that and as you can see from the markers in the video you want to sync to that. So uh, this to be just nice, my markers are actually already there, so um, what you want to do now is add a keyframe. Now what a keyframe does is it basically uh, makes an action happen. A keyframe is, is, a, is a series of events uh, that you set down to have something happen. An action basically. So what you want to do is go one keyframe before the marker now this is important if you want it to flash according to the time you go one keyframe before like that and as you can see it's one keyframe before and what you want to do now is you add a keyframe click this button over here and you go one keyframe forward again and see the brightness increase it to uh, probably 0.20 I guess should be fine and now you have successfully created your flash but you want your flash, your flash to subside right so uh, move it further like before the second marker somewhere around here somewhere around the middle and basically what you want to do is change the value to back to zero again so basically you have your flash so if you play this we get a flash, a single flash, yep, like that. And so now you might be asking me, how do I do that for the others? Do I have to keyframe it one by one? Uh, the good thing about Sony Vegas is uh, you can actually just copy and paste the keyframes. Uh, you can actually just yeah, copy and paste the keyframes. So what you want to do now is you select it all, select all your keyframes, Control C and find the second marker on your timeline. So my second marker starts here, right? So basically what's ha what's gonna happen now is uh, I'm gonna press Ctrl V and as you can see a three more keyframes popped up. And basically just do this for every single one of the markers that you see right there. Just go one frame before the marker and just Ctrl V. Ctrl V and Ctrl V. And yeah, that's basically it. You have your flashes and everyone's happy, I guess. See how it looks like. Yep, that's basically not it, I guess. Um, you have your flashes, everyone's happy and... You know... You have successfully... I mean, if you've been following through this tutorial, you've successfully learned how to flash a video. So, if, I mean, you guys can just leave in the comments what you want the next tutorial to be about. And probably I'm going to do a masking tutorial soon. Probably people with a higher standard of editing, probably I'm going to uh, do After Effects as well. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to break down some stuff. Uh, for you guys in the future. So stay tuned for more tutorials like this. This is my first tutorial, so I mean, I'm sorry if I start to be like here and there. I'm doing it right now, but yeah. Anyway, I, I just really want to thank Mips. Uh, he provided me with the clips and uh, John Avalonix basically with uh, fueling me with the passion and the drive to make this tutorial. Without him, I would have died in the fire and never wanting to edit the YouTube videos ever again. That sounds really bad. My English is bad, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah.
so basically that's about it I guess leave in the comments what you want makes it totally to be uh... alright guys peace out